I would like to do a couple of things with this video. First, I'd like to give you some intuition into the standardization process that we use to find probabilities under the standard normal curve, uh, more specifically that we use to go from a normal distribution or normally distributed variable to a uh, standard normal distribution in order to look up probabilities. So that's the first thing that I'd like to uh, illustrate. The second thing that I'd like to go over is how to build a chart in Excel with multiple series. So to begin, we have a variable here that is normally distributed. There are 40,000 observations of this variable, and I am going to standardize it. But to begin, let's describe this variable. We'll treat this as though it's a population. Let's describe it with its average and its standard deviation. Control shift down, close parentheses, enter. The average of this normal distribution is roughly four. So we could not call this standard normal. Let's take a look at the standard deviation. I'm going to go with stdev.p uh, because we're treating this as though it's a population. Control shift down, close parentheses, enter. So we have a variable here that is normally distributed with mean 4.0053 and standard deviation 3.003. The standardization process first requires us to shift this distribution to the left in this case by its mean, um, x minus mu, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is take every observation and subtract from each observation the average of all the observations, and we're going to use F4 here to lock the cell reference. Double clicking in the little extension bar here will get us a new distribution. Now, when we carry the mean over, since every observation has had the mean of the population subtracted from it, this new distribution, normal comma mean zero, should indeed have a zero mean, as we see it does. The standard deviation, however, should not have changed. So we have effectively moved this distribution while maintaining its shape over to the left by roughly four units. The last step in standardization is to divide that normal distribution after subtracting each observation from its mean by its own standard deviation. So equals this divided by Standard deviation, again, F4 to lock the cell references, enter, and we will fill down all the way down to 40,000. Now, continuing to, to shift these calculations, we're now going to look at the mean and standard deviation of our standard normal variable. As you might have guessed, the mean does not change because all we've done is rescale each of the observations, and now the standard deviation has gone from 3.03, which was the original, to 1. We now have a standard normal variable. So as we can see, the data in the standard normal distribution go from, in the extreme, a little south of negative 4 to almost 4 on the high side. Now I have preset some bins here. The bins range from negative 12 to 17. I've checked that these ranges will work. I'm going to walk you through the process of building a relative frequency distribution where each of these distributions, and we're going to do this with the data analysis tool pack. Um, if you don't know how to get access to the data analysis tool pack, there's a link in, the, in this video to take you to a video of how to do that. So we're going to use in this set of tools histogram. We'll click OK. We're going to select normal to begin with, control shift down. Then we have to grab our bins, control home, control shift down. We're going to put these, uh, indicate that you have your labels if you use them. We're going to put this in a new worksheet. Click OK. I'm going to hit control C here to copy the results and put it into my setup page. Control V and I have bin and frequency. Going back to the data, we're gonna do this process two more times. Control home, data analysis histogram, okay. 
pop out, control home, highlight normal mean zero, control shift down, new worksheet, we can double check that the bins are good, control home, control shift down, new worksheet okay, control C, put it into setup, right click, or click and control V. And now for our last uh, histogram, data analysis, OK, pop out, grab the standard normal distribution, pop back in, double check the bins, control shift down, and OK, control C, and go back to the setup page, control V. Now let's go and hit control shift down. Uh, these mores are indicating that there are zero values that do not fall into our range. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. Control Home. To get relative frequency, we need to divide each frequency by the total number of occurrences. By highlighting everything, each one of these will have 40,000, as you can see in the auto sum, 40,000 observations. Equals this divided by 40,000. Enter. Fill down, control C, control V, control V. Now we have three relative frequency distributions, one for a normal distribution, one for a normal mean zero distribution that has been transformed, and one for a standard normal distribution. We're now going to insert a graph and graph all three of these results. Insert, we will use a scatter plot with jagged points and let's select data. I will clear out the series and add them. First series name will be normal. The X values, and you do not want to highlight the labels, control shift down. Y values, Y values are the relative frequencies. Pop back in. Okay, now let's do that twice more. In this case, we're going to do it for the normal mean zero. Grab our X values, control shift down. Grab our Y values, control home. Not highlighting the labels, control shift down. Okay, and add our last series. Control home, this time standard normal. Pop back in, grab our X values, control shift down. Grab our Y values, control shift down. OK, and OK. Going back up to the top, I'm going to move this chart into its own sheet, right-clicking off of the plot area. Move chart, new sheet. And I'm going to add in axes, titles, and a legend. And that looks good. Escape. So as you can see, what you're doing when you standardize is you're taking something that's normally distributed. You're shifting it over mean units so that it's now mean zero, and then you are rescaling it so that it becomes standard normal. This is a probability distribution, so this title will be probability or relative frequency. And this value down here will be outcomes. That would be more specific, but we're using a made-up variable and also several transformations of that variable. So the intention of this video has been to help you to understand 
y for a normally distributed variable, we can subtract from hypothetical values of x the mean of the population and then divide that result by the standard deviation of the population and go from normal to mean 0 to standard normal, which is a, a probability set that we understand and, and can glean from either a table or from calculations.